Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. And this week, we're heading to Modern to see if we can combo off with Wizard Glass. So let's talk about our super spicy, super sweet Wizard Glass combo deck. Jump into some games, see it in action. All right, so here is our wizard class combo deck. And the plan of this deck is to first off, fully level up wizard class, which uh, gives us a enchantment that whenever we draw a card, we get to put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature we control, which is the key ability to our combo. Of course, fully leveling up wizard class, it's a lot of mana. One to cast, three for level two, five for level three. So we have birds of paradise, noble hierarch to just speed things up a little bit. Then our combo piece number two is either benthic biomancer or fathom mage. These are creatures that when a plus one, plus one counter is added to them, we get to draw a card or in the case of benthic biomancer, we get to loot. So this starts in infinite loop. We draw a card, which will trigger our wizard class to put a counter on either Biomancer or Fathom Mage, which will draw us a card, which will trigger a wizard class, which will draw us a card. The end result will be a huge Biomancer or Fathom Mage. Also, drawing your looting through our entire deck, which is how we find our finisher to close out the game. As far as killing our opponent, we got three different options. The, my favorite is probably Thud. We just do the combo we were talking about. Eventually, as we draw our entire deck, we'll hit the Thud for one red mana, we throw the huge Biomancer or Fathom Mage at our opponent's face to win the game. If that doesn't work for some reason, we got Thassa's Oracle along with Cavern of Souls, which makes it and Biomancer and Fathom Mage uncounterable if we put it on Wizard. And then Thassa's Oracle, after we draw our entire deck, wins the game. If we get it on the battlefield, first Simic Ascendancy gets 20 counters, wins us the game on our upkeep. Also, just a way we can put a counter on thing to like draw a card with Fathom Mage or whatever. So that's the main goal of the deck. We also got a bunch of ways to protect our combo pieces. Voidcrafter Shalai, give our creatures Hexproof. Snakes can veil for one mana gives a creature Hexproof and puts a plus one plus one counter on it, which makes it insane with our combo because using it to put a counter on a Biomancer or Fathom Mage is going to trigger it to draw a card, which then starts the combo loop with Wizard Class to win us the game. So it's also one mana start the combo if we need it to be. Otherwise, Skyclave Prismatic Ending, give us a bunch of removal. Dizzy Spell is actually really key to the deck. It looks weird. One mana give a creature negative three, negative oh. Instant speed, not good. The key thing is transmute it for three mana to snag any one mana value spell, which means it finds Wizard Glass. It finds Bethic Biomancer, so it finds the whole combo, plus it can find like Snakeskin Veil to protect our combo, Prismatic Ending for removal. So it's a really powerful tutor in our deck because so many of our important pieces cost one mana. Mana base wise, Pretty typical modern stuff. Sideboard, a bunch of protection, a bunch of targeted hate for specific matchups, graveyard, artifacts, storm style combo, cascade, and that is wizard class combo for modern. And that's our good odds deck for this week. So let's jump into some games, see if it's possible to go infinite with wizard class, draw our deck, thud some fools. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoy it. And I'll be back in a bit with a wrap up. Looking for some sweet new Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms cards? Well, you can order them now from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to cardkingdom.com. Against the odds time, we are attempting to combo off with Wizard Class in Modern, and we will see. Uh, this hand is more okay than good. Forest, go. Oh, didn't cracks wins up teeth gets a triome all right planes and stoneforge mystic oh dear we might be dead uh, they're getting cauldra and we can't answer stoneforge yeah all right well gotta draw a white source to kill stoneforge uh, we do wins up teeth crack it so we're not dead yet soon perhaps but not yet still need a wizard class hollowed fountain untapped prismatic ending get rid of the stoneforge Remain alive. Thankfully, pass the turn. All right, so next up, Wizard's Class, please. Windswept Heath for Arabuna passes. Cavern of Souls on Wizard. Play Benthic Biomancer. Pass the turn. We mostly want to adapt here to loot and try to find something. All right, Fatal Push. Well, we will loot. Yeah, let's discard Void Grafter. Snakeskin Veil isn't bad uh, in the long term. Not a wizard class, though. Overgrown Tomb, tapped. So opponent looks like abs and midrange. Godly Shrine, tapped. And Tide Hollow Sculler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
takes the Fathom Mage. Well, we will Thassa's Oracle go digging for some action. Uh, do we want either of these? I guess Prismatic Ending's good. Prismatic Ending can get rid of the Tide Hollow Scholar and give us back our Fathom Mage. Opponent. Untaps. Temple Garden tapped. More Tide Hollow Scholars. Sure. Opponent passing. Ah, well, I think we'd rather have the Fathom Mage. Get rid of Tide Hollow Scholar. Get back Fathom Mage. Oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> Ephemerate. Gives us back Fathom Mage, takes Fathom Mage again. All right. Well, we will pass the turn. About it. Untaps. Temple Garden. I mean, the problem is they're just going to get to cast this Calder Complete. They've just drawn all the lands, and that's going to let them cast Calder Complete and beat us down. We draw. Biomancer. Well, we will play Biomancer. Um, yeah, I guess we loot with Biomancer. Discard Snakes can veil past the tur. Oh, boonings. Oh, jeez. They just went right up to seven lands. All right. Well, that's Calder Complete. <sighs> what a world we live in. Opponent. Calder Complete. Hard cast. Goes to combat. Hits us for a billion. Well, I guess we got to draw another, another prismatic ending, and we got to draw it very quick. Well, play Wizards class. Power up Wizards class. Draw a couple of cards. <laughs> Pass the turn. Wow, this has happened several times with this deck where we're like, ah, that fifth, that fifth level is tough. It's just so much mana. Opponent goes to combat, hits us. Down to seven. Passes. Hmm. Oh, one, two, three. Skyclave Apparition. Get rid of a Tide Hollow Sculler. Oh, no. Their last card is Ephemerate 2. Yeah, I mean, that That does do it. Uh, so we get back Shalai temporarily. We just don't have a way to stop Calder complete. Take Snakeskin Veil. Uh, we will play Noble Hierarch. Pass the turn. About it. Untaps. And goes to combat and hits us. That's a strange attack. Okay, a uh, block? That is a very strange attack. I'm assuming our opponent meant to attack with a Cauldra. Uh, that's actually kind of a big deal. Well, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, we gotta crack this land first, don't we? All right, let's think about this. Misty Rainforest, crack Misty Rainforest. Get a island. One, two, three, four, five. Level up, pass the turn. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, oh, wow, wow. We might be doing it. We might be doing it. It may have taken our opponent punning a little bit, but opponent cracks windswept teeth. Overgrown tomb. Sure. Put on a taps. Yeah. And vindicate. Well, we will snakeskin veil. Start the combo. Oh, my goodness. We did it. We did it. We did it. Okay. Discard. Biomancer. Discard. Biomancer. Discard. Biomancer. Wow. I wonder if we would have got there anyway if our opponent did not punt. <laughs> I mean, we'll take it. We're getting to see the combo go off. This is what we've been trying to do. Grow that Biomancer. And we even have the thud in hand to finish it. You're going to discard you. Grow Biomancer. Oh, it's happening. It's possible. Grow Biomancer. Discard. Grow Biomancer. Discard. Grow Biomancer. Discard. Grow Biomancer. Discard. Grow Biomancer. So we just want to do this and then end with a Snakeskin Veil in hand, and then we will stop. So next time we draw a Snakeskin Veil, we will put the counter on something else. There it is. All right, so counter on Thassa's Oracle. Oh, discard Shalai. Counter on Thassa's Oracle. Fizzle the Vindicate. Mega 1919. Opponent. Passing. I mean, we have the thud. This is 19 power. We can block the gerb, so we're not dead. All right, block with Thassa's Oracle. Go to five. But it passes. Adapt. Uh, put a counter on whatever. And thud your face. Oh, we got there. Okay. Well, <laughs> it took our opponent stumbling around a little bit, but we did successfully combo off. Like that is that is a combo. That is the combo. Oh, how do we stop this Abzan train? Um. Hmm. <laughs> well, Simic Ascendancy doesn't feel great because we know our opponent has a million answers. Sanctifier and Vec, I guess, is fine. Force Negation. It seems unlikely that we're going to see the hard casting of, of, uh, of Calder again. So let's run it like that. See what happens. Birdtron. That means if we find Wizard's Class, we can, uh, we can level it up pretty quickly, which is nice. 
Now let's see what our opponents got. Marsh Flats and Passes. Forest and Bird's Paradise. Yeah. Opponent. Godly Shrine, Untapped, and Fatal Push. Sure. Well, there goes Birds 1. There's more where that came from. There's always more birds, apparently. Temple Garden, Untapped, Stoneforge Mystic. Well, we did kind of need this bird to live because we needed to cast the Skyclave to deal with... Oh, they get a Batter Skull. Okay. Oh, oh. Hmm. That might mean they already have Calder in hand, which is less encouraging. Well, Windswept Teeth. Crag Windswept Teeth. Breeding Pool. Untapped. Birds. Yeah. Being able to cast Skyclave that turn would have been pretty helpful. Birds, birds, go. Come on, wizard class. Come on, come on, come on. You can do a magic gods about it. Land. Grist. All right. Well, choose us to not go for the batter skull. Hits us. Snow blocks. Oh, well, land untapped. Skyclave. Get rid of the stone forge. Pass the turn. Oh, Wizard's class would be so good right now. Phone and Godly Shrine, untapped. Wrath of God. Oh, that's a massive blowout. Okay, so opponent, they got they got some sweepers. Makes an insect. Well, now we got nothing. Oh, he did finally draw a wizard class. Would have been nice when we stole it aboard, but we'll take it. Wizard class, draw two. <laughs> All the snakes can veils in the world. About it. Untaps. Grief. Well, would you like a snake skin veil? Our opponent doesn't have any free spells. Or our deck doesn't have any free spells. That's that might be the issue. Opponent hits us. We're playing good queen fair. Pay five mana to level three of wizard class magic. Opponent takes up grist. We draw. Birds number four. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I mean. Well, all right. Birds of Paradise. Yo. Land for our opponent. Another Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, so this one's this one's over now. Hey, hey, hey. Well, we're on the play for game three. Oh, the Grief Ephemerate thing is... Ugh, ugh. Can you get some free wins? All right, we get to play first. You know what? I think we keep this. We have a Wizards class, and that's what this is all about. So, Misty, crack it. We only have one land, which is concerning. Uh, I think we have to play Wizards class because of our opponent's infinite discard. All right, lands, lands, lands. We have the Wizards class. We have ramp. We have basically everything we want except lands. Birds of Paradise, that's not quite a land. Noble Hierarchy, please don't kill it. Aboted, cracks. Well, not killing it yet. Untaps, Marsh Flats. All right, removal spell one. Opponent passes. And we draw land, so that's good. Play the land untapped. Play Benthic Biomancer. Birds of Paradise. Yeah. Opponent. Marsh Flats, Swamp, and... Oh, God. All right. All the removal. Opponent passes. And Grist. Makes an insect. Well, it's not a land, but we do have enough mana to level up wizard class and hopefully draw lands. All right, there's a land. So play the land, pass the turn. About it. Adapts. Land. So if this bird lives, we only need one more mana to fully level up. Opponent hits us down to 40. Although as we've, as we've seen, our opponent has a ton of removal. Insect. Sort of fire and ice. Opponent passes. We draw. Oh, we draw the land. Okay. Interesting. What do we do? What do we do? So we can level up. But we can't necessarily win for a couple more turns. We can't really afford to get hit by the sword. So, I mean, we could level up and take the sword hit and hope for the best. That seems sketchy. I think we windswept teeth. Crack windswept teeth. Get a planes. Crack windswept teeth. Get a planes. Sanctifier, in fact. Get a blocker. Transmute dizzy spell. Opponent cracks. Godless Shrine untapped. Okay. Wow! All right. All right. All right. So our opponent. Jeez. Playing all the white removal to go with all the black removal. Well, that's uh, that's probably the death of us then. That's what we needed to not happen. Opponent. Equips a sword, we get hit for a ton. Oh, that's so unfortunate. So unfortunate. Opponent kills the birds, draws a card. Path to exile. Oh, what a blowout. Opponent 
Draws another Stoneforge Mystic. Calder complete. Takes up Grist. Skyclave Apparition. And Sudden Death. Well, well, in game one, we got to see the combo. So, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> Against odds time, we are trying to... Go infinite with wizard class in modern, and well, we'll see. We got wizard's class. We got Simic ascendancy, so we got we got options. We need uh, one more piece, and also much mana spent leveling up. But this hand's not bad. Now play an island. Play wizard's class. Go. Opponent overgrow tomb untapped and thought sees. Ooh, uh oh, secure tribe scout. Okay, okay, okay. Opponent passes. We draw prismatic ending. Hmm. I think we need to play this. Uh, I think we need to play Thassa's Oracle to find a land, right? Yeah, I think we have to. Breeding pool untapped. Thassa's Oracle. I don't like letting this live, but I don't think we have a. Oh god. All right. No lands. Pass the turn. Oh dear. Pass the turn. Well, that's the backfire. Uh, well, I guess at least we aren't drawing those three non-land cards, so that's a, a slight win. Opponent gonna put a land into play. It's a forest. Opponent. Azusa. Gonna play a land in a land. And passes. We draw land. All right, so opponent's gonna try to ghost quarter us out of the game. Uh, we will get a forest. Can we draw a land? Please, magic gods. All right, we draw a land. So play the land. Yeah, I think we level up wizard's class. I mean, we're trying to pull off a combo. All right, prismatic ending in birds is okay. Opponent's only got two cards in hand. Something like ramen up excavator would be frightening. That's probably what we're most scared of. Field of ruin. All right, opponent has played many lands. Goes to combat. Passes. Well, uh, more lands, please. Opponent's going to ghost quarter us. Well, we will get a land. No blue man, unfortunately. Uh, we will take a planes. Untap draw a land, please. Fathom mage. Well, one, two, three. Get rid of Azusa. And well, I guess we go attacking. Pass the turn. Yeah, these ghost quarters have done some work. Opponent cracks. Overgrow tomb. Untapped. We have the Fathom Age. We're actually like kind of close to comboing. We just need more mana. We draw forest. Uh, well, birds of paradise. Forest. Prismatic ending. Go to combat. Drawing a basic's actually kind of, kind of bad news. Opponent down to 13. Untaps. Oh, but it scoops it up. Okay. Well, opponent blew up a ton of our lands and then conceded. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we did not technically get to combo off. Do we have anything that's good against our opponent viciously attacking our lands? Not really. Rest in peace? I mean, maybe we just run it back and... Yeah, maybe we just run it back. Let's just run it back and try to combo. Well, I mean, winning is nice, I guess, but we didn't actually get to see the combo. Like, the combo is the, the main goal here. This hand does not give our opponent anything to ghost quarter, so... <laughs> Keep? Uh, no. We can't actually keep that. No lands, no keep. Uh, well, this will keep. I think we put Simic Ascendancy to the bottom for now. Well, we got a Mana Dork, which is nice. We have a bunch of removal. Noble Hierarch. Go. About it. Cracks. At. Uh-oh, are they killing? All right. Well, that's not as good. Overgrown too. Untapped. Dark Confidant. Sure. Well, I mean, we do have an answer to that. Misty Rain, please stop drawing. Basics, we need those for the ghost quarters. Uh, get a hollowed fountain untapped. Get rid of the bob. Pass the turn. The bad news is we don't really have any combo pieces at the moment. About it, untaps. Overgrown tomb tapped. Torpor orb. That doesn't really do anything against our deck, does it? I'll play the land, play benthic biomancer. I guess it shuts down this void grafter, but pass the turn. Well, looking for wizard's class. Opponent scavenging you, sure. And passes. Well, let's adapt loot. Ooh, Shalai is actually kind of interesting. Let's discard prismatic ending. Opponent's gonna start the ghost quartering. Well, get a planes, untap, play a land, and yeah, I mean, I think we just, huh, they did have a permanent leave the battlefield. Let's play, let's play Noble Hierarch. Go to combat, attack. Yeah, we're gonna wait one more turn and get down the mana dork. Opponent takes it. Yeah, eats the hierarch. 
Looms back the lands. Catacombs. Cracks it. Well, we can see our opponent's plan. Gets a forest. Dark confidant. Opponent. Goes attacking. All right, well, run out void grafter. Block. Untap draw wizard's class, please. Prismatic ending. That's interesting. So we can kill the Bob, but do we even want to kill the Bob yet? Or do we just run out Shalai and wait? I think we wait. Let's go to combat. Attack, attack. Opponent. Wow. All right. Takes the trade. Well, we will play a Shalai and pass the turn. So opponent does get to keep growing the ooze, although we can end it at some point. Opponent looms. Ghost quarter. Goes to combat. Attacks. So, I mean, they are going to be able to eat away all of our mana. Can they stop themselves from dying to our board, though? One basic planes left. Opponent goes quarters. We'll take the planes. And looms back some lands. Opponent passes. We draw. I guess a land's not bad, because we can just put counters on everything. Okay. Surgically extracts Biomancer. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> Simic Ascendancy. Well, uh, let's see. White, blue. Put an end to the ooze. Opponent, yeah, gonna gain some life. Well, no lands, no problem, maybe. Opponent goes up to 12. Ooze goes away. We play Simic Ascendancy. Hit you for four. <laughs> Pass the turn. <laughs> Down to seven. About it on tabs. Like, they can't just keep ghost quartering us. That's not going to win them the game. Like, they're dying on board here. So they have to do, they got to do something. They got to at least start drawing and stop loaming. Opponent, land. Passes. We draw. Dizzy spell. Well, go to combat. Attack. Hit ya. Opponent cracks. Did they draw removal? Okay, opponent drew fatal push. Uh, yeah, I mean, haha, -ha, Simic Ascendancy going to work. Opponent down to three, untaps. Can they draw an answer? All right, scavenging just keeps our opponent alive for the time being, just barely. Opponent passes. We draw a dizzy spell. Is there a way we can win here? Oh, I think we do. Blue, blue, white, dizzy spell. Get a prismatic ending and the ooze. So opponent can gain a life, but they're still dead, right? We get the exalted trigger? Well, <laughs> we won. We didn't get to combo. We didn't even get to draw a wizard class, but we overcame. Well, we'll see. Maybe their last spell's a removal spell. If their last spell's another fatal push, then we very much do not win about it. Being able to tutor up prismatic endings is actually kind of cute. This would have been, this is in the deck to get wizard's class or biomancer, but uh, I guess fringe upside, it can get a removal spell. An opponent gives us a DGs and uh, well, we'll take it. We'll take it, we'll take it. Oh, all right, well, I guess next time for the wizard's class, but a win's a win. Against that's time, we are trying to combo off wizard's class style in modern and ha. <sighs> Okay, we'll keep this. We don't have a wizard's class, which is a little sad, but otherwise this hand's reasonable. Perhaps good even. I mean, always thoughts as Oracle to dig for to dig for wizard's class. Well, that's breeding bull untapped. Up it against some sort of lure stack, which could be anything. Even a boat, perhaps. Opponent, what do you got? I think hammer time's the most common lure stack at the moment. Giver of runes. Well, I mean, I guess we kill the giver of runes. We're going to have to kill it eventually, or it's going to protect the other stuff, so... Skyclave, get rid of the Giver of Runes. If we draw a Wizard's Class, we can immediately level it up, which is sweet. Urza Saga, and Esper Sentinel, Springleaf Drum. It just keeps happening. Giver of Runes number two. Well, Breeding Pool, untapped. We need the Wizard's Class. Maybe we don't even play the Shalai. Although Shalai is... Yeah, all right. One, two, three. I think we got to play Shalai... Go to combat, hit ya. Oh, we're actually pretty set up for the combo if we can find wizard's class. Opponent takes it, 18, untaps, Urza Saga, doing its busted things. Well, the question's gonna be, do they have the hammer and a way to equip it? Well, do they have a way to equip it? We know they can get the hammer with Urza Saga. They need a, they need a way to equip the hammer for us to die. Opponent, combat. Oh, there's wizard's class. Okay, we have hope, there's hope. Hope and dreams, wizard's class. Feels bad, but you get to draw a card. Level up wizard's class. Hopefully draw a land. We draw two. All right, there's the land. Crack the land. Oh, we are dying, but get a, oh, it fell in. Play a biomancer. Ah, pass the turn. 
Oh, are we dead? Are we dead? Are we dead? Opponent gonna make a big Karn structure. Sure, sure, sure. There's a saga. Gonna get a hammer. Oh, we're so close. If we draw a land, we can go infinite next turn, but we're gonna need one more turn after that to win the game. Cause we're not gonna have the thud mana. Opponent floats. Gets shadow sphere. So we're gonna go on the big construct plan. Has pure, oh my God, pure steel. Equips. Do they also just have hammer in hand? Cranial plating. Draws a guard. Equips. Goes to combat. Wow, so close. So close. Oh, yeah. We take infinite. Down to one. Oh, it's so close. Yeah. All right. Well, almost. Almost. Huh. Extra five mana to level up the last mode is... Ah, oh, that is, that makes it tough. That does make it tough. Oh, Kataki in, go down a Fathom Mage. Go down a, hmm, Void Grafter. Void Mirror, no. Rest in Peace, no. Force of Negation could be okay, but it's not great. Yeah, it's actually, I think Force of Negation's bad now that they have Urza Saga to put Hammer into play. All right, we get to play first. Oh, well, you know what? We're going to keep this. Trust that the magic gods are going to reward us with lands. Misty Rainforest, go. I don't even want to crack it yet because I don't know what color we need and I don't want to thin the deck. Opponent, Plains, Sagardazade, Ornithopter, opponent passes. Do we draw land? No. Well, okay, crack this. I guess we got to get the hollowed fountain. Yeah. The sketchy part is now we don't have green mana, so... So if we draw a mana dork, we can't cast it. Get rid of Cigar as aid past the turn. Come on, lands. Come on, lands. Come on, lands. Opponent untaps. And Urza Saga, Bustrino, and Steel Shaper's Gift to get a hammer. Oh, it gets a plating. All right. Opponent passes. Do we draw a land? Please. No. Well, we will play Wizard's Class. Yeah. Oh, I think I keep this hand again because I feel like this matchup's probably horrible for us and we have many of our best cards, but uh, we're certainly getting punished by not drawing a land here. Opponent, passing. That is also not a land. Wizard's class is for days. Well, at least no max hand size means we don't have to discard it to hand size as we as we refuse to draw lands and be able to cast spells. Oh, Kataki's so good. Opponent gets a Shadow Sphere and more lands. And equips and cranial blading. Opponent goes attacking down to 12. Do we draw land? Eh? Eh? Yes. Many, many years late, but that is officially a land. Uh, is it just too slow? Probably. Well, there's a Kataki. This Kataki is going to at least slow our opponent down, but I'm not sure if it's going to be good enough because they can probably afford to, like, sack Ornithopter and just pay for everything else and just beat us down with this construct in two attacks. So I think we still have to, like, top deck something or else we just still lose. We need to get it down earlier. Opponent going to pay for what? Pays for the plating. Pays for the Shadow Sphere. All right, so opponents just all in on the Construct. Sacks the Ornithopter. If they have a land, they also get to equip. Oh, they do. All right. Well, 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 this means we got to draw something this exact turn. Yes, Kataki would have been great if we drew a land on turn two or three instead of five. Opponent hits us. We draw. Well, the lands are the lands are flowing. Unfortunately, it's just way too late. Skyclave apparition. Can't actually get rid of the construct. I guess we get rid of the shadow sphere. Pass the turn. Ah, oh, would if we had only hit our lands earlier, this hand would have worked out. Because we can actually like upgrade wizards class. We got the Fathom Mage. We got the Snakeskin Veil. So we have everything we need to combo, minus the minus the mana. So opponent, gonna pay, gonna pay. And draws, wow. Opponent's also drawn a ridiculous number of lands, which is allowing them to pay for our Kataki tax. The opponent, hammer, goes to combat, attacks. Well, I mean, all we can really do is double block. Opponent has a path to exile. All right, oh, so close. So, so close. So opponent passes. Yeah, we're just, we're just kind of dead. Well, for not being able to play, uh, not getting land number two until turn five, we ended up, ended up giving it a, giving it a fair fight. 
against the odds time, we are trying to combo off with wizard class in modern, and we will see. We don't got a wizard's class. Just kidding, we do have a wizard's class. Uh, let's play Birds of Paradise. Pray really hard that it lives, since uh, we don't have any natural blue mana at the moment. Another Dragon's Rage channeler. And a bobble to do some surveilling. Mills a land. Mills a land. Mobble. Cracks it. Takes beak. Ah, two Dragon's Rage channelers is a frightening star opponent. Bloodstained Mire. Cracks it. Steam vents. Untapped. And this ends with our cheese. Oh boy. Opponent's gonna leave a card on top. We are going to get smacked. Sure. <laughs> Draws a guard. We will play a noble hierarch. The problem is I'm just not sure that we're fast enough here. With our opponent having this draw on the play, I'm just not convinced that, like next turn we can play an upgrade wizards class, but then we're still gonna need two more turns out. Oh, expressive iteration. Opponent, gonna have two three three flyers here shortly. Actually right now, yeah. Opponent gets a land, plays the land, goes to combat. Yes, uh, Dragon Rise Channeler is quite the magic card. Opponent cracks there at Mesa, gets a mountain, goes to combat, hits us for a billion. Yeah, down to 13. Yeah, we're just, we're dead. Like, what are we? Jeez, um. Well, crack wind, swept teeth, get a breeding pool on it. We're just, we're super dead. We're super duper 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 dead. Uh, sure, we save this. Opponent double surveils. Uh, yes. So this appears to be a start that we will not be beating. Opponent passes. I'll play Horizon Canopy. Play Wizards Class. Opponent also left some cards on top with their surveilling. Boom. Down to nine. Activate Wizards Class. Level two achieved. I mean, honestly, I don't even think we should have shown our opponent this. If we, we just, we can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opponent goes attacking for a billion. Down to three. Untaps. Lightning Bolt number 30. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Well, we can bring in Sanctify Iron Vec, since it has protection from our opponent's colors. And I guess that's about it. Go down a Dizzy Spell and a Fathom Mage. Run it like that. Yeah, I mean, that's not a especially... <laughs> Especially reasonable or beatable draw. All right, well, we got a Wizards class. And we have a removal spell. Breeding Pool. Untapped. 18. Classes in session. Go. Opponent. Land. And. and Dragon's Rage Channeler, of course. And, oh, imagine that. A free spell to trigger the Channeler and start surveilling. Opponent. Passes. Going to crack the bobble. Well, we will Horizon Canopy. Prismatic ending. Get rid of the Channeler. Pass the turn. Opponent. Good run. Extra card. Land. And passes. What a shame. Um... Well, we will play a forest. We will level up wizard's class. Draw a couple of cards. All right, two more land. Well, <sighs> uh, so we need two more mana for leveling up. Opponent, lava. Oh my goodness, lava dart. They have so much removal. About it. Yeah, that amount of removal's annoying. Expressive iteration. Gonna draw a couple of cards. Yeah, this shuts down like most of our deck. Could use Sanctifier. Sanctifier to exile the lava dart would be nice. So let's see, we need two more turns of, so next turn we do nothing. The following turn we can level up. Opponent gets a bobble, plays a bobble, cracks a bobble, plays a land, passes, draws a card. Well, Prismatic Ending could be good in the future. I'll play Simic Ascendancy. Play Hollowed Fountain, tapped. Well, we will see. This is gonna be close. Opponent untaps. Well, it cracks a fetch. Untaps. Can we can we do it through our opponent's removal? That's gonna be the question. Land cracks it. Soul Scar Mage. And, huh, flashes back Lava Dart. Do I have light up the stage? What is happening? Oh, Stormwing Entity. All right, this means we could just be dead. Two cards to the top. All right, odds of death increasing. Windswept Teeth. Crack Windswept Teeth. Get a Plains. Go down to 12. Level up Wizards class. Your go. Well, we'll see. Uh, I expect that we're just dead here because... 
well, that's how these things go. But if we're not, no. Another expressive iteration. Yeah, we're definitely dead here. All right, six power. Opponent left two cards on top, remember? So one of them was expressive iteration. Another one was something else that they wanted. Ugh. Well, I mean, we're close to pulling off the combo here. Blitz is tough. They have lava darts to kill all of our stuff and uh, a very strong... A very strong Magic the Gathering deck. Lava Dart. And another Lava Dart. And Lethal. Sure. Oh, Crush Dreams. So close. Man. If we had if we just had one more turn without our opponent, you know, drawing half their deck and casting a million free spells. Combo. Combo time. Well, I guess next time. Uh the end's thoughts time. We are trying to combo with wizard, class, and modern and Oh, this hand is a lot of what we want. We'll see. We'll see if we live long enough. Misty, crack it. Drawing another land would not hurt. Noble Hierarch, go. I mean, we have the Wizards class. We have the Biomancer. We have literally every... Uh, nice planes. The Tornado planes, one of my favorites. Opponent, Springleaf Drum, Urza Saga, which will get a hammer in a couple turns, and... Oh, not Stoneforge. Aye, Stoneforge. Okay. Well, hammer time is fast. It is a fast, fast deck. Hammer one, achieved. Land? No, Dizzy. Dizzy spell. Well, we will play a Noble Hierarch. We will play a Noble Hierarch. One land, but Hierarchtron. Yeah, there's a Saga ticking up. Oh, dear. Ink Moth. Well, this means we are dead to a free equip. Hammer. Okay, so they have, they must have pure steel for next turn? Opponent passes. Simic Ascendancy. Well, we will play Wizard Glass. Sadly, our opponent gets to draw a card. We really need to hit a land off of this. Really, 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 really. Like that is determining whether we have a chance to win this game. Wizard Glass, level up. Land, please? Oh, dear. Oh, oh. it's a land, but it doesn't let us cast Dizzy Spell which is uh, an issue. We needed to be able to dizzy spell an ink moth to not die if it gets a hammer on it. Well, I mean, if our pony has pure steel, we are. All right, pony's just making a big board. I mean, we might just be dead naturally. Pithing needle. No! Oh! Oh. Yeah, that's, that's, that's game. All right. Well, Urza Saga, Pithing Needle main deck, Boo and Hiss. Oh, he actually had a chance there if our opponent didn't have... Ugh. Urza Saga is a messed up magic card. It is just, hey, it is something else. Uh, so, opponent, hater of everything fun. Uh, we will trim a bit of our protection stuff. Yeah, we're all like that. We're all back. Bring in the Katakis, which are pretty good against our opponent's deck. Boy, apparently there are a lot of ways in modern for Wizards class to get blown out. Main deck Pithing Needle. Well, we're gonna keep this. We got a bunch of answers. Dizzy Spell can get Wizards class. Noble higher, go. Although, as we saw, our opponent Pithing Needles. I mean, we do have answers, but that game we were just so dead on board. Esper Sentinel. Opponent, Mishra's Bobble. Cracks the Bobble. Draws a card. Uh, well, hmm. Birds of Paradise. Birds of Paradise. Misty Rainforest. Go. Off to a good start with mana, at least. Doesn't mean we don't die in a turn. Mem Knight. No, there's Springleaf Drum. Stoneforge Mystic to get the hammer, I assume. Well, opponent's passing. We will crack this, get a dual land. Hollowed Fountain tapped. Untap. Well, there's the Wizards class. Hmm. I'll play Wizard class. Oh, yeah, you get to draw, unfortunately. We need to leave a blocker back. Level up Wizards class, draw two cards. Hopefully a land. Two lands. Okay, that's good. Play a Windswept Heath. Pass the turn. Oh, we actually, we kind of got a shot here. We'll see. Oh, if we get Pithing Needle again, I'm going to cry. Opponent planes. Next turn, we can fully Wizards class. And then, in theory... <sighs> Pithing Needle. <laughs> oh, all right, we got answers, but that's bad. Bad, bad news. Pithing Needle on a Wizards class. Stoneforge Mystic number 40. Gets a cranial plating. Goes to combat. Opponent goes attacking. Oh, we gotta take it. Wow, can we live long enough? Crack Windswept Teeth. Get a dual land tapped. Untap. Also unfortunate that we gotta keep letting our opponent draw cards with this Esper Sentinel. Do we survive? 
So what we got to do is prismatic ending the pithing needle. Does our opponent have a path? Are they thinking about pathing us? So in prismatic ending pithing needle, level up. We know our opponent's got two hammers in hand. It's going to depend on what that last card is. We're definitely going to be dead to a hammer equip, but does our opponent have the hammer equip? Oh, this has been this has been close. Our deck's actually been performing well. We're just under a lot of pressure. Hammer time is good at that. Also, main deck pithing needle. Come on now. Come on now. Don't you want to see cool things, hammer time? All right, so we will. Breeding pool untapped. Prismatic ending pithing needle. Pay the one. Turn back on our wizards class. I mean, we just got to fade away to equip the hammer, and we should be able to combo. Our opponent didn't appear to have it last game. All right, fully leveled up. Go. Don't kill us, please. Desperation crack. Trying to find the equip. Do they hit it? Come on. Be good to the wizards class. Cranial plating. Okay. That doesn't make us die. Equips the cranial plating. Cast the hammer. Oh my good, oh, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. One, two, three, one, one, two. Yeah, this works out perfectly. So opponent hits us for a bunch. However, we untap. Oh, that makes it even easier. Uh, put a counter on Noble Hierarch. Well, now we, one, two, three, four. Fathom Mage. Snakes can veil Fathom Mage. Sure, draw a card. Well, we can't pay seven anyway. All right, Fathom Mage. Yes. Wizards class. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So we draw our entire deck. We wait for the thud. And then we thud our opponent. We got there. All right, this is what Wizards class could do. Draw, 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 draw. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, that was so close. Through the hate, through the pithing needle. We still got it done. All right. 19. We got it. We're just going to draw everything instead of looking through our hand. 16 cards to go. Oh, finally. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, draw the last card, then say no, then find our thud and make red mana. Boom. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was that was turn five. That's not bad. That's not bad. Well, that's a good example of of what the deck like. That's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. And when it works, it's actually pretty spectacular. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Well, can we do it again with our opponent being on the play? Ooh, okay. Well, we don't really need this thud in hand, but you know what we like seeing in hand is Kataki Wars Wage. That is one of our best cards against our opponent's deck. Plains for our opponent and Springleaf Drum. Memnite. Yes, dump those artifacts. Cig Uh-oh, Cigarda's Aid. Ha-ha, <laughs> new plan, we might just be dead. A uh, Misty, crack it. Breeding pool, untapped. Noble hierarch. Well, <laughs> let's see if they have a hammer equip. If they have a hammer equip, then we're, I think we're just. <laughs> I mean, hammer time is nut draw potential. Stoneforge, uh oh. Stoneforge gets the hammer. If they only have one land, though, this is not the worst. Oh, okay, we got a shot. We got a shot. We got a shot. So, um, we will. Windswept teeth, crack windswept teeth. Get a planes. Play Kataki. Play Noble Hierarch. Go. Well, now our opponent's got to pay the tax, man. All right, opponent pays, sacks. Goes to combat attacks. We're going to take a hammer hit. Yep. Well, let the great chump blocking begin. Or draw removal spell. That would be ideal. Island. So, uh, play a land. Play wizard class. Level up wizard class. Ugh, pass the turn. Wow, we're so close. Opponent. it. Gotta pay the piper. Pays to keep the hammer. Sacks the drop. Opponent goes to combat. Attacks. Ugh. How can we do this? One, two, three, four, five, six. We need to level up, but we also need to block. Or we could draw a removal spell. All right, we're gonna block. Oh my god, Ink Moth. Okay. Untap. Removal. Please. Please, 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 please. Wow, we're either just gonna win or just gonna not win. It's gonna be ridiculously close. We can win next turn if we're alive next turn. The problem's gonna be if our opponent has a removal spell, then we die. Cause we need to we need to level up wizard class. Chump with Kataki, untap Biomancer, infinite thud win. But if our opponent has like a path to hit Kataki, then we just die. The other possibility is we draw a removal spell and then we could take a, a different, safer, but slower line. Noble Hierarch. Well, this is it. We will Misty Rainforest, crack it. Forest, level up Wizards class. All right, this is the game. 
Do we survive this turn? Does our opponent have removal? Opponent has to pay the one. Wow, opponent sacks the hammer. Interesting. I was not expecting that. Oh my god, we're gonna win! We're gonna win! Opponent gets another another stone force. That's fine. That's fine. That's game. Taking down hammer time. Opponent gets another hammer. Sure, sure, sure. Goes to combat. Doesn't have the mana to cast it. I mean, okay. Block. Untap. Fully leveled. Oh my goodness, we got there. Wizard class. Sure, put a counter on that, whatever. Stompy grouts. Untapped. Benthic Biomancer. Adapt. Uh, discard. Discard. An opponent! They know what's happening! Oh! <laughs> the wizard class dream! All right. I mean, that shows what the deck can do. We got two turn five kills, which I know turn five isn't like incredibly fast, but we overcame the hammer time. Two wins in a row. That was so good. That was so, that is... That is wizard class at its finest. Well, sweet. So what do we learn this week about wizard class combo in modern? And record wise, we went two and three, which eh, it's not super exciting, but it was fine. I mean, we got to see the good and bad of wizard class. The good is the combo sweet and the combo actually does work. And we were able to win a whole match with it and also multiple games throughout the league with it. So the combo is pretty good at doing what it set out to do. It is really only two cards. It's not that hard to to find thanks to dizzy spell the biggest problem we ran into with the deck is honestly just wizard class is a lot of mana getting it all the way up to level five oh that is the scary part we had several games where we were like ah, we needed to level up wizard class one more time but we kind of have to like skip our turn to do it because it's so much mana and then we end up like getting our stuff killed or getting ourselves killed on the backswing before we get to untap with a fully leveled up wizard class so that's kind of the drawback it is a lot of mana, even though Wizard class is one mana. It's really a lot of mana to get it going because you got to level it fully up to pull off the combo. So I think that means the combo, I don't think it's going to like break anything for sure, but it is fun and it does actually work surprisingly well. And when it goes off, it's super sweet. Like draw your entire deck, make a 40 power creature, fling it at your opponent's face with FUD. Fling it at your opponent's face with FUD is such a sweet way to win the game. So I'm pretty happy with how the list landed. Like I think as far as being a wizard class list, I I think this is a pretty good example of how you can actually make it work. Uh, like I said, the challenge is uh, taking a turn off to spend five mana to get that last level on wizard class. That's just really ambition and modern. On the other hand, we got multiple turn five kills where we draw a couple mana dorks. We level it up really quickly. The second level drawing his cards is a nice little bonus. And then we just Biomancer, Snakeskin Veil, win. Feather Mage, Snakeskin Veil, win. So the combo is really consistent if we can get wizard class to level five and serve survive until we untap with it. Also, kind of a lot of hate in the format. That's the other thing I realized. We ran into like Assassin's Trophies and Maelstrom Pulses and main deck piffing needles off of Urza's Sagas, all of which are pretty good at shutting down Wizards class. Thankfully, we do have answers to the answers like Skyclave, Prismatic Ending, really powerful removal spells, but there is a reasonable amount of hate and the absolute blowout is <laughs> spending five mana to level up Wizard class and then your opponent being like, oh, piffing needle or Assassin's Trophy or Disenchant or whatever so there are blowouts that could happen but when it works it really works and it's really sweet so that's wizard class that is our against the odds for this week thanks for watching i hope you all enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here